welcome to the coding channel today is the seventh episode of our python tutorial series for beginners and in this episode we are going to talk about how to build the largest and smallest program in python this and more when we come back Welcome back. Now, in this episode, we are going to create a program that will prompt the user to enter 10 integers, then find the largest and the smallest of 10 integers input. Normally, this type of problem is the most, uh, one of the most frequently uh, asked questions for the, um, uh, you know, beginners like you. Now, um, but if you know how to solve this type of problem, so I uh, suggest that you pause for a while, the possible, uh, you pause this video for a while and then you get your laptop and then um, join me okay you start um, solving this problem and then after that let's try to compare our uh, answers uh, later okay but if you're just uh, planning to just watch it uh, for now so uh, join me as i uh, solve this um, problem okay so um let's start now uh, we will begin if i'm going to uh, uh, create a a program okay or to solve this type of problem so i will start um creating my a loop since there we are tasked to uh, ask the user to enter 10 integers right so i will start in the uh, initialization of my uh, loop okay so for example i will be using the uh, counter variable i will initialize it to one and then uh next so this would be my initialization okay if i'm going to put the inline comment there so I'll just have to put um, um, a white spaces there, one, two spaces, and then after the uh, number sign, just put a one a space again, okay, and then uh, the initialization, okay. So that is the um, the standard uh, way of doing that, okay. And then just to have a cleaner code, okay. And then if you are using also a pie chart, uh, as you can see, there is a weak warning. So later we will try to uh, make this as a zero warning okay so normally these are warnings that um, these are not a syntax error okay but uh, we need to follow okay just to have a cleaner code okay next so after the initialization okay i will be using the while and then uh, let's try to loop a while counter is less than or equal to how many times so let's say for example 10 so make sure okay you put a uh, white space there at least one blank uh, space and then followed by the value and then the column okay that's it so this is now a condition okay. next after that uh as we will have an input statement here or well, prior to that let's just complete first the um uh, the the while uh, syntax so we, we now we now have the initialization we have the condition and we have the um um Increment. Okay, so for example, since we've used a counter here, so make sure that well, you use also that counter variable plus equals, okay, and then one, meaning we will add one to the counter variable. So this will serve now as our um, increment. So, we, so this one is a complete um, a syntax now of our while, okay? It will uh, let us now um, iterate ten, 10 times. Okay, now what's the statement inside of our while? We will prompt the user to enter 10 integers. So we will have an input statement. Okay, so just to have this input statement, uh, what are we going to do? Uh, for example, uh, we will use number variable is equal to uh, uh, input, right? But uh, we all know that uh, using input, since we are uh, going to store an integer variable so whatever you type in the uh, console of the uh, in python uh, that is a string by default so we will need to cast or convert temporarily the the, the string input to um, integer okay 
to prevent an error. So enter, for example, a number, and then just put a no, no, number, and then I just have to use um, uh, a concatenation here. I will be using the counter variable so that uh, it will uh, generate number. Okay, enter number one, number two, number three, number four, and so on. Okay. I take note uh, every time we use this um okay uh, i mean if every time we concatenate uh, an integer or any a data type to a string okay just to make this whole um um expression okay or a statement for example uh to make it string all string so we will uh, use the string um the string uh, keyword there or the str keyword just to temporarily convert Okay, and then uh, let's have another um, colon here. Okay, and another closing parenthesis there. There you go. So this is now an example of my input statement. Okay, I normally just uh, put those uh, comments there. Okay, now after the input statement, what are we going to do? Okay, let's try to run. Okay, just for you to see. Okay. So enter number one. For example, we have 89, 67, 45, 34, 23, 99, 88, 77, 66, and then for example, a four. So that's it. Okay, so far, so good. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, what else? Our um, major task is to find the largest and smallest of this uh, 10 numbers input okay so how are we going to make it possible so there is a decision making right so, so if there's a condition okay that we're going to make so we will be needing if so there are uh, a lot of options so we can use uh, both uh, okay for example two if uh, statements or uh, if l if okay so like for instance i will be using uh, only if Okay, just to separate the, the largest and then the smallest. So that is also possible. But before that, okay, um, since we don't have any initial value here, okay, or um, it could be better to, to treat the first input as the first, I mean, as the, as the largest and the smallest at the same time, right? So how are we going to uh, tell Python to, to do that? So if uh, the value of counter is equal to one, okay, so what are we going to do? If the value of counter is equal to one, if the first input, for example, so we will consider the first input as the largest and also the, the smallest, okay? And then equals what? Zero. Okay, so that's the syntax in, again, another, if you uh, remember, uh, the syntax in Python, if you are going to assign zero, both to largest and smallest, so we can do like this. Okay? So next. So if counter is equal to one, largest is equal to smallest, okay, is equal to zero. What about if, if what? Okay. So if um, this time, what if we are now in the second iteration? So if the user have entered, for example, five, Okay, so that would be the initial value of largest and then smallest. Okay, so uh, if the user have entered uh, 10, for example, the second time around, so we're talking of, 10, of 5 and 10. So we will compare now. So if number, if the new input is uh, greater than the largest so far, right? If greater than the largest so far, what are we going to do? So we will assign... Um, that number to largest if it is true right okay so what about if that number is um uh less than the smallest so far so that's the time that you will uh, also um, uh, have a condition there if a number is less than the smallest so far then you just have to put a colon there okay now if you have noticed that there is a um uh, what they call this underline in largest and smallest okay oh uh, even though i'm sorry uh okay we have an error here why uh if counter is equal to one what i am trying to say here is that 
the value of largest and smallest is the value of number okay because we treat as the first input is the largest and smallest so far okay sorry about that now um speaking of this uh, variable having the underline so these are actually um what uh, warnings okay so if you're going to use um a variable uh for let's say um an output okay or in our condition so we will just uh, make sure that uh, we um, initialize this variable so if you can see here okay name largest for example can be undefined so there is a possibility that that is undefined so that is why just to make sure uh, outside we will have um a uh, an initial value let's say let's try to put a zero there okay so we have a largest or a smallest equals a zero okay it's better like that just to initialize so see as you can see uh you can see the the underlined the uh, thing there in largest and smallest now okay so okay let's continue if number is less than smallest so smallest is equal to number right so we we, we drop now there if there's a possibility that the given number is less than the smallest so far so we will assign the number to smallest okay so since i've used the uh, uh all if here so as you can see uh python will uh, every iteration of python will test uh, uh, this if this three if um, condition okay but it, it's it's okay um it's because um since we are um going to display the largest and smallest so that would be fine okay but if you're going to use the if l if so later in our uh, next example i will be using the if l if okay just uh, for you to have a lot of options okay now we're done with the initialization we're done with the condition okay so our next step just to um finish this um uh, problem or program is what is an output statement okay so uh, when are we going to display the output let's say the largest is the, the the smallest is once the condition is already false okay so now based on what we have um, uh, learned from our previous episode we can use else uh, statement in while right okay so if you're going to use else so the the, the codes that we are going to um, uh, insert in inside of the uh, else um, you know statements uh our python will execute those statements after or when the condition of our while is already false remember that okay so that's why it's appropriate to um, place the output statement here in else so let's say for example uh, the largest is largest is and comma then where did we put the largest um, value inside of the largest variable so the output is something is like this and then let's try to have another for the uh, smallest sorry okay so the smallest is this time smallest okay so that's it we have the while so let's try and take note we still have a what warning here okay missing white space around operator six okay operator in line number six white space uh, here you oh, see that is a um, small uh, you know weak warning okay so again missing white space around operator what else blank line at the end of file 24 okay so let's try since uh, we don't need this one and we want to have a uh, zero warning okay missing white space around operator six again where okay here see after the equal sign just have to put the white space there so there you go okay so if you're using pycharm again and then if you can see that the check here so it only means that we don't have um any um warnings so we follow the um the standard format the naming convention okay the uh, spaces spaces for example using white spaces and all that 
Okay, so there you go. Let's run. So enter uh, number one. Okay, for example, we have 90, 89, 78, 95, 96, 99, 94, okay, 93, 92, and um, say 12. Okay, you want to press the enter key. So the largest is 99 and the smallest is 12. Let's double check. Okay, 99, the largest and the smallest is 12. Okay, so that's it. That's how we solve the uh, largest and um, the smallest. Okay, now, what if we're going to modify this program? Okay, because this um, iteration or this uh, loop is only limited to 10. Okay, so what if we allow the user to enter as many uh, number as uh, they want to enter? Okay, and then um, the program will terminate once they have entered a sentinel value or let's say negative one, okay, just to uh, terminate the program or just to make the, the while condition false. Okay, so uh, let me copy this one. And in here, I just have to post this and then to copy and paste here and then um, let's try to modify. Okay, so how are we going to modify if we're going to uh, we're talking of the uh, sentinel control repetition? Okay, first is we need to have an input statement. Okay, let's try. Well, if it's let's try to have an input statement uh, there. The input statement now is what? Let's say enter, um, enter, enter a number. Okay, we will not use this one eh, anymore. So enter a number. Okay. Enter a number. Negative one to exit, for example. Okay. So for a number. Or say enter uh, negative one to exit. As we all know that um, we need to also to enter a number. Okay. So once the user have entered negative ones, so the iteration will stop, will exit, or the program will exit. Okay, something like that. So are we um, well? Just for you to to learn. Okay, better to start from scratch. Okay, start all over again. Okay, because sometimes, you know, it's uh, very uh, good to, to what? To start from scratch than editing uh, something. Okay. Okay, so input. So now, if we're going to use the while uh, loop here with the sentinel controlled repetition or unknown number of repetition, the input statement now will serve as the initialization. So meaning, it doesn't always uh, uh, works that, I mean, normally we, we see the initialization as, okay, uh, counter is equal to 1, counter is equal to 5. So that's the initialization, right, using assignment statement. But that initialization could be an input statement. Okay, so this one would serve as our initialization, the, the value of number. Okay, because during the first iteration, if the user will enter, for example, negative 1, so the uh, the program will exit uh, will exit we will not continue anymore okay that is why in our condition we will use the number here so while number is not equal to let's say negative one so we will uh, continue i'm sorry i'm still using the here uh, parenthesis here so while number is not equal to negative one okay so what are we going to do so we are going to what to um, so let me just have that uh, treat the first input as the uh, largest and the smallest so far. So again, we will need the largest is equal to uh, smallest is equal to number. Okay, that's it. And then 
After that, let's continue with the while. So while uh, number is not equal to negative one, and then what are we going to do? Uh, just to complete the initialization, the condition, and then the increment. So if we're going to uh, use this type of um, you know syntax, we will treat uh, another. We will put another input statement inside of the while loop. So this would serve as our increment. Okay, the input statement would uh, will uh, also serve as our again increment. Okay, in here the input statement is also our initialization. Okay, now so. Before we end the while, so there should be an input statement to ask another input, okay? So that when we go uh, back to the while conditions, so the value of number is uh, uh, now a new, uh, having a new value. Okay, next. So let's try what, what's next. While number is not equal to negative 1, what are we going to do? Okay, we will use the if here. So, um, since we already uh, make a what an initial initialization for uh, the first input, we consider that already as the largest and the smallest uh, so far. So in here we will just have a um, an if statement. So if a number is a greater than the largest so far, so what are we going to do? So again, largest is equal to number okay and then oh, this time uh, let's just uh, use the elif for example so elif uh, let's try to align elif here elif if number is a less than uh, smallest okay so what are we going to do because every input, okay, we can also use the if elif here because every input, there is a possibility that that input is the largest, okay, is greater than the largest so far, or there is a possibility that that input is less than the smallest so far. So we can also uh, use this type of um, logic, okay, so smallest is equal to number, okay, but we cannot use the, the else, okay, it's because yeah, if, for example, if number is greater than largest and then you put else, uh, smallest is equal to number, so it uh, it doesn't mean that if that number is not greater than largest, so it doesn't mean that that is the smallest so far. So don't use else, okay? But instead, uh, just put another condition just to be, uh, you know, safe, okay? So right now, I'm showing you the if, else, if, um, um, version and this one is by using the if condition okay so let's try let's try to continue so we now have the um, the increment here we have the assignment statement and then we can also uh, use again the uh, the else okay so let me just copy this one because uh, it's all the same and you just have to put it here uh, the largest and then the smallest let's try to run enter number one for example ah oh, we're, we're running the um the old one okay again you just have to point here and then run this new file okay so enter negative one to exit for example if you enter negative one okay so that's the end the largest is negative one the smallest is negative one okay since the the condition is uh, already false let's try to run again example we have nine six five seven eight three one and two okay and then even zero okay but so when this when is uh, when we're going to terminate this program if you're going to enter negative one okay so that's it so the largest is nine and the smallest is zero not including negative one okay because um uh, once we uh, enter negative one here, so that would make the uh, statement, the condition uh, false. Okay, so that's it. So that's the version of a um, the largest and smallest program by using the um, 
a known number of repetition of while with an if elif. Okay. Hmm. I've seen some of the um, warnings here. So indentation is not a multiple of four. Line number 13. Line number 13, indentation where? Nothing. It's not a multiple of four. 13. Elif. Less than smallest. Okay. What about this one? Over indented. 13. Over indented. What's that? Nothing. This blank file. Hmm. Why? Why we have an error? Okay. So that's it. This is a small uh, white space there. Over. And then, okay, when you put it back, so no more. Again, that is. Okay. So that's it. That's complete. Okay. 6, 7, 8, negative 1. Okay. 8 and then 6. And okay, that's now. all for today. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And as always, show your love through comments and favorites. God bless and thank you for watching.